out everyone we're going to get rid of an annoying little audio issue that plagues a lot of us in game development which is when you've got an audio file and it's got an intro and you want it to loop but you don't want to loop the intro so this is Godot's vanilla audio stream player uh, and we're going to extend that to this so here we're going to have intro seconds where you have how many seconds the intro is basically the point in the file you want to loop to this is just a feature I added, so let's say you've got like a half a second of dead space at the end of your audio file. You could, you know, put 0.5 in here and trim that off and have it loop at that point. And this has intro. Obviously, if there's no intro, it doesn't matter, but this just toggles the functionality on and off. So we're going to use uh, C Sharp to do this extension. And this is, uh, this is something new in Godot 4.1 where you can actually use C Sharp to create a custom note. And you do that with this attribute up here, this global class attribute. What it's gonna do then is whatever you name the class here is gonna appear in your node list. So if we go up here and we try to add one, for example, yep, I've typed it before already. So here, audio stream player in intro, and that's where that comes from. So uh, those three variables we just discussed already. So uh, first play, is just going to be uh, relevant in kind of an edge case, uh, but uh, we're not going to do any looping on the first play, obviously. Uh, length is going to be the length of the file in seconds, and the end is just going to be what we calculate as that end if we subtract that trim end seconds I was just talking about. The playback position is just going to be a variable to hold that play, uh, playback position because we need to check that every tick to determine if we've gotten to the end of the file down here. So the process method, uh, you'll see base ready and base process. I'm not sure if that's necessary, but what that means is uh, we're inheriting from audio stream player up here. So that means we get all of the stuff from audio stream player and we're just adding our own stuff. This means if the audio stream player has stuff that it does in ready and process, it will do those things. I don't want it to completely disregard those if there's anything in there. So down here, if has intro, that's the checkbox on the UI we made. Uh, and if it's playing, uh, of course, we're going to set that playback position variable that we defined up here to this uh, method from Godot, get playback position. I want to mention the this keyword. A lot of you might wonder why I'm bothering. Uh, it's not necessary to put that. You can, you can do without it just fine. The reason I'm putting it there is because if anyone watching this is new to programming, it's one of those things that isn't obvious and one of those things I wish was explained better when I was learning. So that's referring to the object you're currently on. And that's where that method comes from. So like the audio stream player has that method and it's this audio stream player. And that's where we get that method. So if it's the first play and the playback position is after uh, the number of intro seconds we're going to set first play to false we're no longer on the first play at least for the next loop i should say and down here we're going to make sure if we're going to loop back we're going to make sure we're not on that first play um you're wondering probably when would that ever happen right so so let me kind of explain it backwards here so this is the main condition basically if the difference between the playback position and what we calculated as should be the end of the file is less than 0 0.05 seconds we're gonna loop again now there's a possibility since we're doing this by checking in the process method uh, that this gets missed on one tick and then on the next tick we've gone past that amount I don't think that's gonna happen that's a I think 0 0.05 is sufficient that that won't happen but you never know so this is an extra check to say like okay if we're not on the first play and if the playback position is less than intro seconds basically that means we looped and it got past this check this is where that edge case is so if we don't check for if it's not on the first play what will happen is when we first start the scene it's going to trip this and loop uh, right away and it'll actually skip most of the intro so the, we don't want that but the good news is that's basically it let's give it a shot Let's give a little listen. Uh, 
All right, there we go. Hoorah.